Yes, 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 guys, it's that time of day again when Starving Artists has an update. And this update adds quite a cool things. It adds new name tags for when you spend or buy a lot. It adds new booths and a museum. But the booths is something that I want to talk about. There is a new booth for selling or buying 10 thousand robux which is a lot and there is also a new secret booth and in this video artist chan is gonna show you guys how to get that new secret booth let's jump right into it and here we are in starving artists and you can see that my title actually changed to bank roller now unfortunately if we look at the board we don't have gazillionaire yet but we will definitely work towards that and we need to buy like 40,000 more uh paintings with robux so it's gonna be a while but we definitely want to get that title in the future but for now i am totally fine with being a bank roller now let's go over how to get that booth First off, here we have our amazing shine booth. And this new booth has everything to do with butterflies. So before we go into how to get the booth, we need to make a painting. Now, this painting doesn't need to have anything on it. It can just be a white square. It can just be a dot. But I thought to just give some, you know, to make it more fun, to actually do something artistic, let's actually draw ourselves a cool butterfly and use that painting to actually get this butterfly a booth. So let's do that real quick. Let's sit behind the desk and let's draw the most epic butterfly that we can. So I'm first going to start out with doing a very simple line art. I think I want to have like the butterfly like come up like from, from this side. You know, like be very happy. He's going to have his happy face over here. I think one of his wings can go all the way like like this so it's like it's flapping its wings and on this side it's gonna go maybe like like this the wings that's really cool uh, he has antennas but i kind of want to hide the antennas away by him wearing a top hat if we can see that is the top hat so i think i want to go with this so what i like to do then is just clear up the line art with the uh, you know with the eraser tool and just give it a bit more, you know, leeway. It's been a while since I've done actual pixel art. So it might not look that good. But once again, uh, you don't have to draw anything specific on this painting. It can just be a blank space. It can be anything. I just thought it was fun to actually draw a butterfly. Because, you know, just getting the booth without putting a bit of work in is kind of dumb. So if you're ever going to do this... I highly recommend at least draw yourself your own butterfly. And we can uh, spam the entire starving artist with our amazing butterflies. And make a new era of butterfly arts. Which is definitely what we want to do, right? So now I just want to get the basic colors in. So we're going to color his hat. I think I want to give his body like a purplish. I think that's kind of cool. And then let's go a bit more lighter pink for the wings. And let's make the background a nice blue color. So there we go. He's flying in the sky like he doesn't care. And he doesn't really, you know, belong. But now, um, let's do some really cool shadows. So let's take this color. And let's, hello, let's take this color. And okay, it doesn't change. Oh, that sucks. How am I going to make it darker now? Uh-oh. Well, I guess we're just going to have to pick something that resembles it. They need to fix that. So I feel like the shadow would be kind of going like... As, at like a little circle here. And then we do a little bit of like a gradient effect. With like putting like up a couple of pixels just randomly. Uh, of course, below the head would be some shadow. So his eyes would kind of be in the shadow because of that. And I'm going to give some shadow uh, around the mouth just for fun. And I also want a bit, bit, a bit of lighter color to, to like lighten a bit around his nose. 
Uh, then we of course also have the head, which I want to give a bit more lighter color. There we go. Wow, this is epic. This is absolutely amazing. And let's just color in this butterfly. And let's actually show you guys how to get this butterfly booth. Because at this point, we're just drawing for fun, right? Okay, so we finished our epic, epic butterfly. I can guarantee you right now, there is nobody on Starving Artist that made a more beautiful butterfly than I did. Now this next step is very, very important. You click next and the art name should be butterfly. So this is how you spell it, a butterfly. Make sure to copy it exactly, a butterfly. I'm gonna give it a cool frame color of pink and then we're gonna finish it. We submit it, success. We now drew our butterfly. Now what you're gonna do is really, really simple. You go to one of your canvases. In this case, I'm gonna pick the final one at the back and you're gonna display your butterfly. I would recommend making it really, really expensive and place it down. Now comes the hard part. We need to get five likes on this painting. Five likes, that's ten. Five, five likes. So <laughs> let's hop onto the public server and uh, hope people will like our painting. I got a strategy on it, on how to do it really, really quickly. Uh, maybe you guys just need to get some friends together. But since I don't have any friends, I have a perfect strategy in mind. So here we are in a public server. I'm going to place my booth next to the museum. One, two, three. There it is. And just so you guys can see, we still have zero likes on the butterfly. Now, here is my excellent, excellent plan. Watch this. This is going to be amazing. So I just typed in chat. Hey guys, everyone who likes my painting in the back. I will buy a painting from, and I'm gonna stick to that. I will buy any painting on their plot, even if it's really, really expensive. So we just got our first like from Monke and Sky Monkey. So let's head over to Sky Monkey and Monke to buy ourselves a painting. Okay, so we found Monke, and let's see which one we can buy. He has quite some expensive ones, but I think I want to get this, uh, this one, the Demon Slayer one. So let's buy that for him. We already own the items, so we need to buy something else. Oh, uh, maybe we don't have this pond yet. Okay, so we're gonna buy this pond from Monke. There we go. Nice, we just got that. Okay, let's find the other person. Okay, so this is actually her booth. I double checked on Roblox to make sure that the display name and the username is actually different. So we are gonna buy Gamer Girl. I wanna get this Gamer Girl painting. So let's buy that. And with that, we got two out of the five likes, I'm pretty sure. So apparently most of the server is AFK. So let's do the same thing in the new server. And if we just keep doing that, we'll get it really, really quickly. So we just head over to a new server. We actually have the exact same booth location. Once again, to show you two likes, I just put it into chat. I hope somebody comes and visits so we can get a like and i can buy a painting of them so this guy is running over to me g terran he's giving it a like so let me head over to his painting okay let's go let's go to your booth guy here we go here we go he's moving 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 and this is actually a slot Let's see. I Oh, I want to get that sword. I want to get this sword. It looks really, really cool. Let's buy this sword from him. Um, and we need two more likes. And then we got the booth. So it's quite a challenge to get five likes. But it's pretty doable. I think number four is on his way. And he just... Is waiting very carefully. And we got our fourth like. So let's buy... His painting to thank him for liking our art. No, I got. F 
Okay, um, unfortunately, well, that's the game. That's, that's unfortunately how it is. And we have to buy one of them. And we actually unlocked the Butterboy booth. So I want to get this one. 10,000 Robux, unfortunately. But I told you guys I will buy from anyone who likes my booth. So here we go. I bought it. 10,000 Robux down the drain. I will keep my promises. Omar, I hope you enjoy it. I got my butterfly booth. I am super happy. He is super happy. Let's check this new booth out, guys. Unfortunately, I was unable to find the last person that liked my painting. I even asked around in the server and nobody replied. Nobody even lied saying it was me. So that was really, really weird. This booth actually cost me quite a lot of Robux. So I hope it looks amazing. Let's check it out. So edit the booth all the way to the back. A butterfly booth. Done. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it's actually awesome! Was this worth more than 10,000 Robux? Probably not. But at least we got it. So that's how you get the butterfly booth. Honestly, if you want to do this yourself, uh, get five of your friends to like your picture. Don't do what I did. Don't be so unresponsible with your money. But I am loving this butterfly booth. And just for the people that haven't seen it yet, I also want to show you guys the other booth that you get for 10,000 Robux spent. And that is this really awesome futuristic Japanese booth. Also really cool. Also really awesome. And this one is a bit easier to get, even though it's quite a lot of Robux. So yeah guys, that's how you get this awesome butterfly booth. Once again, keep in mind, you don't need to draw an actual butterfly. Make sure your title is actually a butterfly and get five likes. You don't have to do what I did. Just get your friends online and get five friends to like your picture. I'm pretty sure all of you guys have five friends. I, unfortunately, I just didn't. Well, that's how you get the secret booth. I'm really happy with it, even though it costs a lot. So guys, please, I spent so much. Please like this video and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next Starving Artist video. Bye-bye.